So the first one I'm going to touch on is the ability to conditionally redirect form submissions. Um, this is a uh, new functionality. Uh, you were able to redirect to meeting scheduling pages as of last year. They've now added internal and external URLs as options here. Um, and really the, the benefit of this is we've already seen this with a few clients, but you can really increase uh, conversion and um, usage on your forms, especially on like a simple contact us form. Instead of just getting a notification in an email uh, internally that someone filled out your contact us form, you can now directly link them to a, a med, uh, meeting scheduling page, some other assets that you have on your website, just to get a little bit more engagement. And we've seen already better conversions and more meetings um, booked as a result of that. So this one I think is really powerful, really simple to use, um, and really just gonna kind of show kind of the back end of, of what this looks like. So in HubSpot, um, if we go to forms, and actually one thing to call out as well, one of the betas is a new navigation bar. Uh, so if you are a avid HubSpot person, you'll notice my navigation is different. This is the refreshed navigation that's coming for HubSpot. So that's actually a big one to call out here. This is in beta as well and should be rolling out live, I would assume in the next couple months here. Um, but just so you're aware, side navigation now for everything and this is what it'll look like uh, going forward. And, and Reed, not to distract you from the topic we're talking about now, but since we're showing the new um, uh, navigation, what are your thoughts on it overall? Yeah, I like it a lot. I think um, it's definitely more intuitive. There were some weird pieces about uh, getting to objects, like to get to a company, you had to click on contacts and then that would drop down to all your objects. Now you click CRM, which I think makes a little bit more sense than clicking contacts to actually see all your objects that are in your CRM. Uh, automations is split out into uh, these pieces. I think some of these were under sales initially, but these are true like automation, so it makes sense. I think it just get, get, definitely gives it a good revamp of for new people, it makes more sense now of I click CRM and I see my CRM stuff. You know. Agreed, especially as uh, HubSpot's really become a CRM focused company it aligns with uh, how they perceive their product. So I appreciate you just sharing that. I know it's kind of impromptu there, but I'll let you get back to your forms. Yep, all right. So I'm just gonna go into this form that I have made. This is a super simple form, email, company name, industry, and country. Um, inside the form, if we go to edit the form, um, and we go to options here. We now uh, have these options of, of choice. So the traditional method, which is the thank you message um, from HubSpot, this was standard, thank you for your submission. We now have these different options to do different things and to do things conditionally. So not only can we say every single submission goes to this specific page, we can also say if the industry selection here, so if this was accounting, go to X person or go to X page. Um, and in this example, I have if industries, any of agriculture, airlines, accounting, I'm gonna uh, redirect this to this one-on-one -on -one meeting link. If the industry is any of these, I'm gonna redirect to a HubSpot page. So this allows you, obviously kind of endless possibilities of what you want to do here, but you almost are able to set up kind of lead routing now kind of right inside of your form, really taking away some of the lead routing type things like Chili Piper, for instance, that, that was a big need for Chili Piper previously was you could do the routing and all that stuff through Chili Piper. A lot of that now you can do directly in a form um, with this conditional redirect. Um, you can also add in additional uh, conditions here. So we can say where it's multiple different things and uh, um, multiple different uh, fields. So I can say if industry is any of these, any any of these, and then I can also do, I don't know, an email. This isn't a good example, but if email equals this exact thing, go to a different page. So if you had a lot of 
fields on your form. And it's not just a simple contact us. You have industry, you have employee size, you have revenue, you have whatever you're trying to collect on the, on the company. You can take that information and, and do your routing directly in the form. And so, Reed, are you thinking for one of the use cases here is, for example, if you have your sales team broken up into different industry verticals, um, now what can happen is you can say, okay, hey, Steve over here, we know he gets all the agricultural airlines, aviation accounting. So rather than just submitting a form, we can absolutely have them actually then select and be sent to his meeting link. Um, yeah, exactly. And, and even above that, right, right now I have a one-on-one -on -one meeting link. Uh, there are as well group meeting links in HubSpot now too. So a little bit of round robin type, type work can happen as well. If you don't want to send to specifically one person, you can uh, send to a group that's uh, chosen from. So uh, even if you have a bit of a larger sales team where it's not one industry for one person, it's one industry gets six to 10 to 20, whatever the, the number is of your sales reps, you can, you can, uh, make it work with that as well. Yeah, this is huge for a lot of clients. I know that. Yeah. So that's the main uh, main things I wanted to call out there. Um, again, to get to it, you go into your forms, edit the form, and then options, and then this will be uh, the page you see here.